have some Shack books on sale for three dollars. Uh, this poem that I'll be reading tonight isn't in it, but if you'd like to check that out, talk to me after the event is over. Um, this particular poem I wrote for a man I know, and he's he's a special guy in my life. But this isn't for him. This is about him. So if you run into him, don't tell. <laughs> Honeysuckle eyes and blue jay smile. You leave fairy dust fingerprints and shock my frontal lobe with your lightning rod gaze. I want you in my bed. I want you in my bed yesterday and today and every day from the moment you were legal to the last breath you draw through gold leaf lips. Just don't let me hear you speak. <laughs> you don't mince words, which is only attractive when it is understood that Eisenhower is no longer in office. You visit a tailor so your insensitivity fits just right. You buff your nails with racial slurs and paint them with a clear gloss of homophobia. Your cufflinks gleam with what you perceive as the difference between real and transgendered women. You had your sense of entitlement tattooed on your eyelids. I want to clip them up clockwork orange style so I don't have to see how you rewrote Copernicus to say that celestial bodies revolve around your fine self. <laughs> then bought face cream to reverse sun damage. You would attend a comparative religions class just to tell girls, Gnostics say there's a God in each of us, so why aren't I in you? She <laughs> <laughs> granted you three wishes. I bet you'd make Obama white, turn Hillary Clinton into a man, and incarcerate anyone with a BMI over 25. You call the wage gap a necessary evil because equal pay for equal work means that women's increased demand for shoes would rid the world of its natural resources. <laughs> you must find it hilarious that a single mother with three kids and two jobs living on hot dogs and Kraft mac and cheese would think that the knock on the door was UPS with her Manola Blahniks, not the landlord with an eviction notice. I wrote you a haiku on a mirror so you wouldn't get bored reading it. For the love of God, shut your mouth. <laughs> your words ruin your fantastic.